Well, this weekend there was a celebration in Lodo to mark the completion of a mural and several, several newly installed historical markers. This morning we have Nali Lor joining us this morning. You are the artist behind the mural. It was a big weekend so thank you for getting up early and yeah. coming in today. I appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about the mural and the history that it's marking here in Denver. Yeah, so the mural is a celebration of the Chinese community of the past, present, and future um, to really honor the Chinatown that burned down in the 1880s and shed light on that history for Colorado, for Denverites. Because, you know, without the mural, do you think people were registering, you know, what used to stand there in downtown Denver and, and what happened in 1880? I think it was hard to really recognize or see anything that represents it today mm -hmm. in Denver. Um, there's the incorrect plaque that was recently taken down. Right. And now we have this beautiful mural that's colorful and it's right next to a marker. So it really ties together to bring uh, light to that history. That's great. For, and then for folks who are saying, wait, I didn't know that, th that there was a Chinatown in Denver. What, what can you tell them about what happened? Yeah, um, honestly, when I first learned about, about it, I was also really surprised like we yeah. had one, um, but for for the Chinatown, um, I would just say that you know it's a lot that happened. You know, it, it has a very dark past mm -hmm. with the lynching and the riot, the race riot that mm -hmm. was started. A lot of people were injured. Um, one man died in a lynching, and it's just very dark. And how they painted it wasn't correctly portrayed. Yeah. So then when people do go by that mural, knowing that, you know, this history always hasn't been shared properly, what, what do you want people to think about? What What is the part that needs to be corrected for folks? I really want them to know how it started and what happened to the Chinatown. You know, it didn't just burn down on its own. Right. Um, to also learn from that history so it doesn't repeat itself. You know, something that was beautiful and flourishing. While there's negative sides, there's also so many positive things. You know, they had families, they had friends, yeah. they had a livelihood. And I want them to think about how that really changed the way life is yeah. and how it affected people today and their descendants today. Yeah. And so I really want the mural to sh have them ask questions, have them learn, sure. have them interested, and also to portray that history in a different lighting to show that it was fun, that there was this energy, the spirit there, and really this unity. Yeah, we're just about out of time, but remind folks where they can go to see this mural. They can go on uh, 19th and Lawrence, right on Denver Fire Station 4. It's right on the side, yeah. north facing, and they can see it there. I know exactly what you're talking about. All right, well, thank you so much for coming in early today. We really appreciate it.